Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today we are doing area of triangle. The area of triangle of a right angle triangle and also a non right angle triangle. So how can you work on it? So first of all, we should know that how many types of triangles. I have divided this type into two types, like right angle triangle and non right angle triangle. In right angle triangle, we have a triangle with 90 degree with base and height. This 90 degree is very important that one of the angle in a triangle is 90, that means it's a right angle triangle. Non right angle triangle means no angle is 90 degree, it can be more than or it can be less than 90 degree. For example, I have used here obtuse angle, scaling on an isosceles triangle. There are three examples I'm using in this uh, video to find the area of this triangle. Moving to first of all, this when we have this triangle with this part here is like square box, mean this is 90 degree. When this is 90, this is the right angle triangle. In right angle triangle, when the base and the height both are given, we have to use a formula. That's the area of triangle is equals to half into base into height. This formula is normally used. That's the area of a right angle triangle is half into base into height. Even I want to use the same formula for the non right angle triangle. You have, you, you have to wait for it. Just how we can use the same formula to find the non right angle triangle's area. For example, in right angle triangle, the base is 4 and the height is 5 centimeter. So by using this formula, can we substitute the value? This area is equal to half into base is her 4 and the height is 5. So by calculation, we can get the answer. The area is coming 10 square centimeter. The unit of the area is square centimeter. So this is the way we have done how we can find the area of right angle triangle. Using the same formula to find the area of non right angle triangle, let's see the same formula for non right angle triangle. So I have used three examples here, like the same, uh, the base is 6 cm, 5 cm and 6 cm. These are the bases of these non right angle triangles. So what we need, the height, this actually the line, the imaginary line is very important because this perpendicular line from the base, like from the base to the third vertex, this is third vertex, from the base to the third vertex, this is called the height of this triangle or this triangle. But when you see this triangle, how can I draw a line from the base to get the height? For this uh, re reason, I have to draw an imaginary line like here, this imaginary line. This imaginary line, I have to extend this and I have to, because the definition of perpendicular like height of a triangle is what? From the base, the height, from the base to the third vertex, this is called the height of a triangle. So this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree because of perpendicular height. And I, when I write all the values in this 90 degree and this value also, so we can have three types of triangle in non right angle. Now, how we can find the area of this right angle triangle, this non right angle triangle? First of all, I would use like this triangle number two. This triangle number two, if I want to do the calculation to find the area using the same formula, what I will do, this area is half into base into, what is the base here? The base is five, the complete base five, and the height is four. When we do the calculation, it's coming 10 centimeter square or 10 square centimeter. So it's a very simple calculation when we have non right angle triangle, when the, from the base, to the third vertex, this is called the height, the third vertex, this is called the height and we have used. For this example number three, if I use the half into base is six and the height is three and when you do the calculation, the answer is coming nine square centimeter. But when we move to the first triangle, this is the first triangle and non radical triangle, the base we can hear, hear the, we can see the base is six or three or the nine altogether. What's the base here actually? Because the height is Okay, and one more thing, the height is 5 or 4. Because when we think about the height of the triangle, the triangle should have the height from the base to the third vertex. Like if I can draw a height here when this base is given, but from in this situation, the base, when I take 9 as a base, it means this part and this part, both the parts are included. I will use only the base 6 because I want to find the area of this part. Remember, this part, if I want to use a formula, the base will be only 6. I will not use 9. If I use 9, I will get the area of both the parts. If I use base 3, I will get the area of this part. 
if I use base 6, I will get the area of this part. So in this way, we have to use just only 6 to find the area. But what is the height in this uh, like triangle? The height is not 5 because the definition of height in the right angle in non right angle triangle is what? The from the base to the third vertex is called the height. So height is 4. So please be careful. In this situation, we have number of questions in our examination. This type of question, this height, we have to use this one, not 5. So area is coming 12 square centimeter. So after doing this non right angle triangle using the same formula half into base into height, we have done it. But we have one more formula to find the area of non right angle triangle by using all three sides. Okay. In non right angle triangle, when we have this situation, we have a formula like area of the triangle is half AB sin C. What do you mean by half AB sin C? It's a part of the further trigonometry. When we consider these two sides A and B, I will use the included angle C. Angle between A and B is C and that's, that's why we have AB sin C. Okay, when we use B and C, you can see like when we use A and C, okay, A and C, the angle will be B here. When we use B and C, the angle will be A. So this is the way we have also this formula in non like non right angle triangle. In further trigonometry to use the calculator to get the value of sine cos like sine A, sine B, and sine C. Okay, let's start with one example. I have taken one example here. All sides are given: six centimeter, nine centimeter, fourteen centimeter, and one angle is given. So this angle means I have to find the area of this non-right angle triangle. What I need, I need the sides which makes make this angle included. This angle is between six and nine. So to find the area of the triangle, I have to use six and nine and sine with hundred degrees. Yes, because I have to use these two sides because of this included angle. So I will not use 14 here. This is the way. So after doing some calculation using calculator, this 26.6 degrees, that's, oh sorry, centimeter square, that's the area of non right angle triangle. So this is the way we have done this, uh, how we can use the area of right angle, non right angle using the half into base into height formula or half into AB sine C formula. So this is the way. If you think in my this video, area of triangle is good. Like if you understand this useful for you, please like my video, subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you can receive my new videos. Thank you so much and have a nice day.